The following knot was tied in a sample of Rio's 10-pound steelhead salmon tippet material and tested on our Instron machine to illustrate its relative breaking strength. Let's take a look at the blood knot. The blood knot's one of the best general purpose knots for connecting a tippet to a leader, uh, connecting two dissimilar sized pieces of uh, monofilament together, and it's really easy to tie. Um, I've got my two pieces here. The one in my right hand is gonna be a little bit smaller diameter than the one in my left hand. To start the knot, I'm gonna take with about uh, four inches or so uh, of tag end or overhang on uh, each end, and with the smaller one, I'm laying it on top of the larger one. I'm going to wrap around, going away from me, four times with the smaller material. I'm going to come back up to the inside and tuck that there, securing it with my thumb and forefinger. Then I'm going to take the larger material, wrapping again away from me four times. One, two, three, four times. And then I'm going to go back in through the center that I've got created right there. Going to give a little tug so these overlap a little bit. And you know that you've got the knot ready to seat when you've got opposing ends right here. This end's going out 180 degrees from this end, completely opposite. I'm going to take, get some moisture on the knot here. I'm going to draw it nice and tight. Come back with your clippers. Get my tag ends cleaned up. And we've got the blood knot. Here's the blood knot that's been tied in some monofilament. And that's the blood knot. On a single Instron test, this knot broke at 7.19 pounds, which equates to 68% of the tensile strength of the nylon it was tied in. Rio, make the connection.